I'm Patrick Jamison, and in this video, we're gonna make some adjustments to our installed sliding glass door. We're also gonna install the bumper and the jam covers. As discussed in the previous video, you can adjust the panel rollers from the side of the panels. Once all adjustments have been made, inside your blue bag, you'll find the plugs to cover up the adjustment screw holes. If you need to adjust the keeper, you can remove the center screw, loosen the top and bottom screws, and slide it vertically. Retighten the top and bottom screws and place your center screw back into the keeper to hold it in place. It's now time to install our jam covers. There is a top and a bottom. The one with the larger cutout will go into the top. The one with the smaller will go to the bottom. Use your mallet and block to snap in the jam covers. You're gonna follow the same process on the left side of the door when installing your jam cover. You're gonna follow the same steps on the left side of the door when installing your jam cover. Now it's time to install the bumper. You're gonna start off by drilling a 5 16 pilot hole in the top style of your panel, and it's gonna be positioned just right so the other panel and the handle do not collide. We've drilled the hole, we fastened it with the three quarter inch screw, and now we're going to insert the rubber part of the bumper. Now it's time to install the anti-lift block with pile. I'll first begin by installing it into the head of the frame, sliding it over into position above the two panels where they come together. With one of the screws provided in the blue bag, I will fasten it to the head of the frame. Now it's time to install the small pads, which are located in the blue bag. They have an adhesive backing that you'll peel off and you'll stick to the track up against the jam. There will be one pad on each side of the track. Now it's time to install the larger pad. This has an adhesive backing as well that you will stick to the track where the two panels come together. Here are the clear bumpers that have an adhesive backing that you'll peel off and stick to the inside of your jam. When I unpackage the screen, we have this blue bag with our interior and exterior handles. Also inside the bag were the screws to attach the handles. For demonstration purposes, I removed the screen to show you where the interior handle will go, as well as the exterior handle. Here's our interior handle with the self-tapping screws. So to recap this video, we've made the necessary adjustments. We've added the jam covers and the bumper. I'm Patrick Jamison, and thanks for watching. 